everybody welcome to the hard surface toolbox tutorial i'm going to go over the main functions okay so what you can do here is i'll just grab this with the front view and what this is going to do is it's going to invoke the carver tool so if you go to edit preferences and type in carver you'll have that it's built in hard surface modeling you can invoke it with Control shift x if you just want to test it out on your own or you can invoke it here. And this is gonna allow you to draw in bullions, okay? You can hit space bar a couple times, make a nice circle bullion as well, and cut those in. Now you do have some funky lines here, right? You want all that. Uh, there are options to fix that. I've got other tutorials based on it, but real quick, if you want to shade that auto smooth with the hard service toolbox, it should take care of about 99% of your shading issues, which is gonna be very helpful. Now for the uh, basic hard surface like this, if you are done, and I mean absolutely done, you can take the remesh and add that, and then add the preset. And the preset will take care of about, also again, about 90% of the hard surface models. And then you can just apply that to get some nice geometry on the outside so you don't have to um, have all those funky lines, okay? And so there's one option there. And you can also, moving down from top to bottom here, let's go ahead and take a look at the toolet. Now, if you have this checked on, you will not have a mirror modifier show up. So let's give it a 45 degree rotation. I just click it twice. If I click it once, I can control it. And then I can right click, drop it if I just like it where it's at. And then I can click tool it. Now what that did is it just mirrored the other side and symmetrized. Now, I've got a mirror modifier here, and I don't want that. So what I would do is I would turn this on, and that's an auto-apply. So if I click that, and I'll go ahead and go back. Now, if I click that with it on, it'll tool it across the side, uh, negative to positive or positive to negative, respectively. Now, you don't have to have this all the way out, but just so you can kind of see, you have the positive, negative, XYZ transformations, and a few other options there. And so now if I want to hit that to the bottom, I can tool that as well. If I want to make some really interesting uh, stuff, if you will, then you can start tooling it other ways as well. Or give it a kind of a custom rotation and then hit apply scale. It'll zero everything out for you. You can see the animation here on the XYZ transform, so you can you know play around with that too. And then you can tool it and you can make some pretty cool shapes. Now, from here, this isn't very hard surface because it's just an auto smooth, right? So what you want to do is add a bevel. And I've got a bevel button here, and then I've got a main preset that should work on about, like I said, about 99% of the models. Now, if you see this, uh, I've got a bonus add-on that comes with this. So you can get it free off my Gumroad. And real quick... Um, if you type in auto, you've got an auto mirror function. I'll go over that. Go ahead and check that on. But I've also got the add-on for you here. It's called Bevel Magic, okay? So Bevel Magic, and it's spelled with a J. We're trying to be unique here, right? So Bevel Magic pops up right here above the modifier stack. What you can do is give it an intensity of 1 to 5 on the bevel. This is the lowest possible bevel and will fix pretty much any mesh. I think it's a 99.999% on that one. I've not had any issues. And from here, I can step up the intensity and I'll zoom in so you can get a good look at what's going on. And then three, and then four, and then five. And you'll see a pretty massive breakdown. So sometimes you can only get away with two. And then of course, uh, it's good practice to know some mesh cleanup. And you have an auto merge here, so you could auto merge this little vert that's too close, or you could just double tap G and bring it back. And that way you can keep that bevel that you like so much. And now you've got this, uh, what I would just say, crap on the bottom. Just hit Z, apply, tool it, and you've now symmetrized. Okay, so you just got rid of all that garbage that was there. And so you do one fix, and then you can mirror it to pretty much every axis, positive, negative, anything you want to do. Now let's move on to the next thing. I like this setup, right? This is what I want. This is uh, this is my mesh. And I want this to be at the bottom. Well, guess what? 
All we gotta do is click the tool it and it's there. And if we want, there's an auto smooth right here as well. So if you don't get my add on, you can still get bevel magic completely free. And then it's got the auto and shade smooth and the bevel magic is really gonna help you out. I really like bevel magic. And so now you can do some things like that and control alt. You can kind of select this and insert uh, something like that and let's do a extrude faces along nominals okay and then you can kind of bring that in or out whatever you want to do and now this is gonna need a bevel so let's add a bevel to this right and the initial bevel that comes with it is not preset but you can start off with the intensity of one two three four or five you can see it breaking down just over four uh, just over four. Now four looks pretty good and I don't set this obviously because the miter outer sharp and or arc is necessary in a lot of cases. So I set the miter outer to arc and it cleans up if you look because I'm sharp to arc and you can uh, switch that as you need it and then you have something nice. Now, if you want all these ridges at the bottom as well, well you can just tool it and now you've got something really cool. And then you can start working on that. And this will help you expedite your hard surface modeling. Now for the most difficult one, which would be the Suzanne, right? We want to throw a bevel on that. So we'll go ahead and bevel it and get this. Hit bevel and throw the preset. And the preset and the add-on, like I said, will work in about 90% of the cases. But for something like this, I want to auto shade smooth and see how it looks. So actually that isn't too bad. And let's drag this bad boy over just a little bit. And so what we've got now, we'll go through the intensities. One is a amount of 0 0.001. Like I said, the clamp overlap is off as well. And the hard normals is automatic. And then, you know, the auto shade smooth. If you come down here to the vertex, look at normals. Auto smooth is on with a 30 degree angle. And every time you click this, this will pop up so you can change the angle. You can bring it up or down. Something like 10 degrees on the angle can also look good. So it really just depends on what you want and need. And then if you come back, you can kind of change the intensities here and bring it up. And then there's a total breakdown right about there. But you can always get away with intensity number one. It's uh, pretty much guaranteed. And so like I said, though, if you do run into an issue where there's a bad vert, you know, you can just uh, double tap G and slide it or potentially merge it. So if I was here and just just randomly I had some kind of a, a vert like right here causing this shading error, well, I just go to vertex select, which is up here or number one on your keypad, double tap G and it'll merge in automatically. And then voila, no shading errors at all. And just make sure that you've got auto merge turned on. And that's this little button right here. This is static in Blender. It has nothing to do with the add-on. So that's just a quick little fix for you. Now check out Bevel Magic. Now if you go into the selection here, you'll see that I have a number of things. The tool is still available. The rotation is still available. We've got coplanar faces. So if you're in face select, you could hit coplanar faces. And uh, if that doesn't work, you can... Uh, hit greater than, there's a threshold built in automatic. It's going to work better on regular hard surface models. Uh, so if I click on perimeter, this will uh, grab perimeter and it's not really uh, accentuated there. It's accentuated here. So if you check this out, this is pretty cool. Like if I want to grab all of these inside pieces, this is going to be really tedious and time consuming. If I click perimeter, uh, I got them all and that's that's it. That's the only thing I've got. And then I can do whatever maybe I just want to delete those faces out of there because that's the way I want my model to look and that's actually pretty cool and then you could do some bridge edge loops uh, in the middle won't be doing all that so other than that you do have the quad view so you can kind of come in here with a perspective an orthographic and you can see how things are going to uh, move in those different things those different views and then you can bring the quad view back out now if you're in edit mode you also have an edge selection tool in a pie menu alt y you can start grabbing the loops 
as they were. Let me just grab this one, Alt-Y, and uh, select Edge Loops. And then I could potentially add like a uh, bevel to this. That's quite a few bevels in one spot. And then you'll be able to mark sharp, clear the sharp, uh, select mesh lights. That's probably going to go away at some point, but select linked. Now this one's cool. So if you grab here, Alt-Y, select the edge loops, and now you come over here and select linked. It's going to go up or down respectively according to the mesh. And this too will allow you to grab just certain areas of the mesh. So if I want to maybe separate that by selection, uh, you know, that's pretty easy to do. And maybe I just wanted to bring that down, join these back up, and let's grab this edge and this edge. And it's hard to see, but uh, the part I separated and this part, and then Alt Y to select the edge loops. And now I will just bridge those edge loops. And I do have a bridge edge loops function but it's not good for beveling the way it's set up it's a little more aggressive and so it's going to just uh, kind of blast through but you're welcome to use that as well and so now we've got some kind of unique little thing going here and if you want or you have any shading errors you can always click the auto shade smooth again especially after another boolean and there you go those are all the main functions like the show wire hide grid you can take the wire uh, the axis lines out is such a pain you can show the axis, which is very, very nice. Like I said, you can go back to shade that flat, shade auto smooth, apply all your modifiers. You could conceptually bring the uh, 3D cursor. And let me turn that stuff off. You could like bring your mesh out if you wanted to, and then play around with the origins. So you can go origin to 3D cursor, which would give this a uh, nice funky rotation, and you'd be able to do a bunch of things with it. And that also works with the auto mirror. So if I grab this, and the auto mirror that we enabled earlier, if you hit Control M and then middle mouse, you can flip this on the axis. And so one of the only decent uses for this at the moment would be to hit Alt D, drop that, hit Control M, and then flip that and drop it over and then maybe go ahead and control J join those and so at this point you can kind of flip these around back and forth like up and down so that was the bottom the top is now at the bottom and so if I want to flip that back uh, it's pretty easy and there's a lot of things you can do so it just gives you a lot of manipulation tools so you can exercise um, some liberties within the app and save yourself a bunch of time so i've got a bunch of other things coming to this app so of course if you were to get this now i'm definitely going to upgrade those people uh, that bought it i'll upgrade everybody uh, to the newer versions and then if i come out with a different app that's a different story but i'm going to upgrade everybody uh, for free not a big deal I uh, really appreciate you guys watching. Go pick up the add-on. And at the very least, go get Bevel Magic. It's absolutely free. And thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial lesson.